yeah, I'm, I'm going to be real with you here. Um, this is all you're going to see for the most disappointing. A disappointing video for disappointing games I've played in 2019. You'll be happy to know, though, that I couldn't think of 10 games because not a lot that I played were actually disappointing. And those which are, I don't have a lot to say, so this is going to be a very short one. So, this... This game. The Witcher. Spawned a series. I wouldn't think of that from the first game. It just drags on so much to me. The combat just feels boring. There's no real impact. I have no clue if I'm winning or losing outside of, you know, seeing the health bars move about. But it, it doesn't feel like it's a struggle. The back and forth is just the worst. I know there's a fast travel. But it's a case of, like, back and forth because I don't know where to go. And not to mention, the lore to me just seems... Maybe if I read the books, but I don't read the books, so I've got to go based on this, you know? It's the fact that they have these characters, which seem to be very well established in this world, but because Geralt has amnesia, you don't know anything about them, so they don't say, like, well, okay, just so that you can remember, I'm this. But at the same time, like, even with the amnesia, he seems to remember their name and know who they are vaguely. So it kind of makes it a moot point. Admittedly, I'm not good at this game. I uh, could not beat the tutorial boss, so I just went with Triss, which was so much easier. Uh, because that was just a human-sized enemy. 1v1. Um, but... Was it the sex? Did the sex sell it? Was that it? I just... I don't see the appeal of this game. I've heard that the game gets so much better in Witcher 2 and then it gets even better on Witcher 3. You know, so much so that Witcher 3 has a cameo in Monster Hunter World. It's like... Maybe I'm missing something for The Witcher 1, but to me, it's just been a disappointment. Speedrunners. Okay, so this is a fun game. Don't get me wrong. This is a very fun game, but maybe it's because of the fact that I played it solo. Uh... Because, you know, it's it's clearly a multiplayer-focused game. You know, just like how Gang Beat is a very multiplayer-focused game. But it's... It's a boring game to me. It's like, okay, maybe... Again, it's probably just because I'm playing it solo. But I don't have anyone that plays it. And, you know, I haven't checked on player numbers. But I don't imagine the player numbers are huge. And even if it was, the, the difference in skill between me and them, it won't be fun for me. You know, I, I guess... I don't know. I think the real downside for it is just the fact that I don't have anyone to play it with, and that seems to be the core thing for this game. You know, when you have AI that follow a set path and don't crack under pressure, it does sully the experience quite a bit. Super Hot VR. I... What the hell happened here? Like, Super Hot was a fantastic game. I really, really liked Super Hot. It was fun. It was clever. It was difficult. And you would have thought incorporating it into VR, it would it would be awesome. Now you can dip and dodge and, and you know, sidestep and, and all that stuff. But you can't move. Like, okay, yeah, you can still dip and dodge. But, I mean, it's like one of the core things about Super Hot was moving your position to better help you with the opponents. You know, blocking off it, you're blocking off line of sight, getting to weapons and lining up shots and all that kind of stuff. But... With this one, you're stuck in one place until you beat all the enemies. That's not fun. Because it, then it, then a lot of it becomes down to RNG. You know. I don't know. The lack of movement really kills it. Kills all the appeal. If, if I wanted... Well, no, no, no. I was going to say, if I wanted to do stuff that involves moving, I'd play Robo Recall, which is a launch, which is a game that came with the Oculus. But hell, that game's got movement. Take a page from Robo Recall. Teleport stuff. You know, I allowed to teleport. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The last one is Fairy Solitary Mastered. I don't know why I was expecting anything from this. It's solitaire. And I played the original. And the original was boring. Because it's solitaire. And yet, despite that, despite going into this remaster, I was still disappointed by it. Because it's solitaire. Um, that's it. That is literally the only games I've had played this year that to me it was like, oh, that's a bit of a disappointment. You know, I'm not, mm, mm, not really feeling it. You know, it's just, 
which either means I haven't played enough games or my taste in games is good or maybe it's gotten worse. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Um, yeah, wow, I think this is going to be a sub five minute video. Wow. Okay. Um, so yeah, those are my disappointing games that I've played this year. Uh, if you want to share yours, by all means, go ahead. Uh, I imagine a lot of people are going to kill me because I put The Witcher on here. But, uh, you know, again, my list, my opinion, not fact. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this incredibly short video. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye!